The new Five Circle Timetable mod brings an incredible amount of life and excitement to what was a very, very monotonous and very mediocre route given to us by Rivet Games. Today's video is brought to you from one of my live streams. I do stream five days a week and Train Sim World is a massive part of that schedule. So if that's something you'd like to see, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when we go live. And if you like what you're about to see, make sure you hit the like button enjoy the video so uh let's go over to the route then so we've got two timetables they're both called oh well, no one's called 2024 timetable and then this is just called class 170 timetable so obviously uh you'd press 2024 but in terms of what's new like off the jump by default we have 164 services in total wait sorry is that this one I oh, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so by default, we have 164 services on the default timetable. That comes with just the class 170 and the class 385. And on the new timetable, that more or less doubles almost to 362 total services. Look what the community can do. Look what it's been what a month, if I'm not mistaken? Or or maybe a little bit over a month and someone in the community has released a mod that almost doubles the, the number of services on the timetable but we've got 362 services and on top of the 170 and the 385 we've also got a 800 uh, class 800 azuma services we've got flying scotsman services and we've got hst services which obviously i actually use for the thumbnail because who doesn't want to see a hst and also there is a um a lumo trainer lumo is a train operating company quite new actually they you started up in the last few years if i'm not mistaken and if i'm not mistaken that's their sort of whole thing is like affordable travel so although we can't drive it i i believe we'll just see it um go past so and as we get moving, I will break down all the details um, as per what's on the Train Sim community website. So we'll take a uh, we'll take an eight fifty one service. So all of these, so obviously the the actual train itself goes from Inver Inverness to Edinburgh, but uh, obviously with what we have available to us, we'll only be driving it between Markinch um, and Edinburgh. So. We are going to do just that. I wonder if this mod fixes that little thing here where no matter which way you go, it always shows this path. I guess we can probably check that out later. But for now, one Bravo 7-0. And uh, yeah, we'll get started and uh, to cover everything basically that comes with the, uh, with the timetable. So we've also got... <clears throat> the brighton timetable as well a new a new timetable was released for the brighton uh, east coast way but i don't think it's almost as big <laughs> as this one but we'll check that out maybe tomorrow no not tomorrow maybe wednesday uh so very simple drive this inverness originating service between markage and edinburgh waverley and uh we'll unlock the doors now I'm curious to see in terms of not bugs, but um, issues with like um, gauges, uh, not gauges, sorry, uh, this uh, PIS and the like. This shit doesn't have it, but I think on the. I think there's an issue somewhere with them, but I guess we'll, we'll, we'll get to finding out once we uh, get to driving the, the Class 8 800. And um, if there's time, we could just do like a normal 170 run and then just see what's been done with that. Because there has been... Um, there is a general enhancement pack as well as the, the timetable. So that should be fun. And yeah, man, this livery is just uh it's gorgeous man i really like this uh intercity livery i think it's been done so 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 well what about pis on the carriages do we have that i don't actually remember no we don't okay i mean i think it's a work of art i'm stuck in it 
I, how, did I, how did I get stuck in a bus in a shelter? I was almost called a bus shelter. Um, in a shelter. Okay, so yeah, this is calling up uh, Edinburgh Market and Edinburgh Waverley. So it doesn't show destinations off the uh, of the map, but so far so good, man. So far so good. Having a block nose falls. I, I don't mind. Like I can I can deal with block nose, but it's, it's when I try to speak and then I feel like it's almost trying to suffocate me. But I think there's a decent uh, distance from the from the dash, or should we go one more? Nah, this is okay. This is okay. Right, so we'll release the brakes. One thing I'm not sure of is whether this uses the HST from GWR or the HST from the Midland Mainline. No worries, no name. No worries, mate. Uh, I have tried that, Connor. Yes, I have, mate. So, covering all the facts and features of this timetable. So, there's 166 playable Class 170 services, including all of the Dundee, Aberdeen, Cowan and Beef, Glen Roads services. Um, and there are also several empty coach and stock moves. Uh, for the class 385, so that was the uh, EMU that came with Edinburgh to Glasgow. There's 98 playable services comprising of the Edinburgh to Glasgow Express services and also empty coach and stock moves. Um, so, so that was a 385 slash 1 and then for the 385 slash 0, there's 68 playable services. And those are the Edinburgh to Dunblane services, which are drivable as far as Portmont. With the HST that we're driving right now, we've got 20 playable services uh, from Edinburgh to Aberdeen. And uh, an important thing to note, I guess, is that creative license was taken. So basically, imagination was used, let's say, uh, on these to increase gameplay, as in reality, uh, only one of these services stops at Markinch. So if they were to do it exactly as per real life with the HSTs, out of the 20, we'd only have one that we could drive. Otherwise, they would all be AI, which in itself wouldn't be bad to see them around, but you can't complain. Um, you can't argue that it's not better actually being able to drive them ourselves. So after that, with the LNER, so the Azuma, class 800 slash 1, we've got eight playable services. And those are drivable between Edinburgh and Markage, so the same route that we're running right now. Uh, these services, interesting, require the swapping between electric and diesel mode at Haymarket. So that's something for us to remember. Do I remember how to switch over from electric to diesel? No idea. I think we did it once on the East Coast mainline, um, there was a scenario that required you to switch from electric to diesel. And we'll do some guesswork. I, I think we'll, we'll figure it out. For the Flying Scotsman, there are two playable rail tours. Uh, these five circular services run the entire loop and take around two hours to complete. As so of course, all in all, it's 362. Um, and there's full station PIS with all stops added for all services, AI and player. But as we saw, that's only for the... It will only show destinations that are within the, the map. So in terms of future plans, um, they have plans to add at least two more playable rail tours comprising of diesel local hold passenger carriages so i assume perhaps uh, we'll see something with some br uh, some br blue paint jobs at least two playable railhead treatment train services putting in all of the missing lner ai services potentially adding in the glasgow central ai services 
and putting in as much of the real life tram timetable as the signaling will allow so i think this highlights to us how much um how much of a how important it is sorry guys give me one second how important it is to have um to have the community able to put to push the game forward because yeah there's nothing there realistically realistically that couldn't have been done by river but river will come out with whatever excuse that they will come out with and so too will at some point dovetail and all the other um, third party studios and this is why having the ability to mod having the ability to access the editor is so 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 important and you think about the fact that right now the editor and what we could do with it is it's is in its very infancy so this is just the very beginning as long as dovetail continue to work on the editor and, and continue trying to give us more freedom with the editor we are going to see so much more and if this is just the beginning then uh yeah i'm very very much looking forward to what's to come Like with the effort with the effort that we've seen so far imagine if that was made imagine if that was put into creating locos i mean people have created locos it's just a matter of allowing them to cook the content and uh, make it available for us to uh, install same with creating roots as well creating roots from scratch i know roots i know roots are in the works but i don't think they i don't think you can you can cook them yet and like share them publicly basically so once that's uh possible then honestly depending on how much freedom or how much is available to us the players as time goes on i don't see why train sim world can't become a serious competitor to Simro because for me right now without you know without without a uh, a doubt Simro is way ahead of Trains and World but get but let, let the players have their way and um, we could see a lot of changes a lot of changes So we've just went past a, uh, a HST, and I wonder, as we've just gone past, I think that's our first, no, that's about, I think that's our second AI service that we've gone past. I wonder now, from an end-to-end, -end, on an end-to-end -end run, whether it's the 170, whether it's the 385, whether, whatever train or driving, I wonder now if we're going to feel the route be a bit more alive. Because AI plays a massive part in uh in a, in a root feed having some life obviously we still got to deal with this to our right these horrible 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 bland 2d nothing going on texture type thing you know uh would be good to see that be worked on at some point soon In my opinion, once Simros is pushing out more third-party routes, including US, that's when Dovetail won't compete. Yeah, I think that's when Dovetail will be left in the dust. Right now, Dovetail are close behind. Definitely behind, but close, you know, not, not too far behind. And that also, that, that would also be the case should the content for Simrel be up to par with what the current content is because cool you can have more content 
But if the quality starts to drop, then we'll see uh, a fall from grace exactly like we've seen with CSW. Because at the beginning, the content was great. And there, were room, there was room for improvement. But as it was, it was pretty good. And unfortunately, they just fell. And just got worse and worse and worse over the years. So hopefully, with Simrel, once we start seeing more content, we see a consistency in quality. They are making the first step with the Expert Loco. They started talking about multiplayer. They did that survey and I was taking it seriously. I... The thing is, Dan, as it stands, we can barely get good routes. Obviously, recently, Dovetail have been on, a, on a, quite a good streak. But speaking generally, over the past year or so, let's say, or even over the past six months, there'll be a clear weak spot in terms of quality. And the excuse that we'll have, or for example, when it comes to not putting things into the route that would make the route more immersive or more realistic or bring more life to it excuse me the the the, the uh, excuse would be we don't have time we have only a set amount of time to do so much we can only fit so many things in cool now if the case is that they never seem to have enough time always to to work in our projects such as multiplayer where they've said with regards to that they would need to do that from like the ground up so god knows how they would go about that or make expert locos like a, a regular thing these are all very very time consuming things and with taking dovetail for their word if truly time has been the issue over and over and over again how can we get those things at a quality level how can we get a good multiplayer how can we get continuously good expert locos so i hope somehow they pull it off of course i always say i have tons of criticism for tsw but i do want it to be the best it can be that's why i have criticism for it if i didn't care for the game i wouldn't bother criticizing it but i've invested enough enough into it time financially effort <laughs> you know it would be silly for me to just play it and hate on it spend money and hate on it it don't make sense so i do want it to be the best it can be and i'm ready to support that but i have to see more willingness man i have to see more willingness and we know from past experiences this is just not me being negative but we know from past experience that dovetail I, you, you can't really hold them at their word because they can say one thing and manifest another thing so again that's something that can be fixed but they'll need to show us that that they are more trustworthy and you know can be relied on more and do have our best interests at heart One thing I like about this route as well is you could go the whole way, right, without, like, as, as a non-stop service. And you'll still be engaged because the route is just constantly going up and down and up and down and up and down. So you're constantly having to watch your speed, constantly having to watch your braking. It's an engaging route, I like it. So much potential, man. So much potential. Thank God for the community. I played similar yesterday with the tracks local. Oh my, the sound only, and I had goosebumps. I drove that for 120 kilometers, and I realized that TSW isn't on the same level. But I can hope. I think that's what we all do. That's what we all do. I see, I, I'll go in the forums, and not anymore anyway, but when I used to go in the forums a lot, and a lot of the response to the criticism is, well, if you don't like it, don't play it. 
Which is the most stupidest thing, because if somebody doesn't like it, they wouldn't be in the first place. The issue is they like the game, but they're being let down time and time again, and they have every right to voice their uh, concerns. So, what would be best for all of us is for all of the games that we play to step it up. And now that Simrel are doing what they're doing and doing it very well, surely, surely, Dovetail have to feel some sort of pressure. And I hope that that pressure is fruitful, yields fruit, not only for us, but for them as well. There's the phrase, vote with your wallet. And I think right now, a lot of people say it, but not many people do it. But I think the worse and worse and worse that content gets, the more and more and more people that are actually going to start doing that for real. No pressure for Dovetail, they will just keep making a new disc lobby every year. We'll see. We'll see. At the end of the day, if they continue on the trajectory that they've been going on, then simply all it means is that it's working for them. And we as consumers are not doing enough. If truly we're upset, if, we're tr if truly we want to see a change, then it's, it means that we're not doing enough. But present time, as of right now, right now, I think Dovetail have started, the graph has started to go, it's, it's just started to curve up. I think it's just started to curve up. So Mering Barn had its flaws, for sure. I'll be the first to say that, of course. But it was, it was a good route overall. I've just finished doing all the scenarios and I think the scenarios are pretty decent. Not too much going on, but they went bad. Goblin line, of course, I thought was very, very good. We're about to see what the, what Long Island Railroad, Railroad will bring us. But looking at the gameplay so far, that's looking quite good, you know. So, I think they're in a positive trajectory, man. And I hope that they keep going. You know, news of the expert loco as well. At the end of the day, we'll see, number one, how long that will take to see in-game. And, and how much it will cost. And number two... Is that going to be a one-time thing only and we end up never seeing it again? As we've seen with so many things. The grass on the left is terrible. Bless me. So is, so is the, everything that's going on on the right, to be honest. But yeah, we've seen so, so often a good thing come to the game just for it to never, you know, never appear again for whatever reason. TSW2 is the only good train sim world that Dovetail has pushed out for it to be a separate game. TSW2 should have lost until September 2023, and then we would have three. People complaining about it right now to stop this world. Look, look at the railroad, what are they saying? And as per your previous point, um, yeah, I think I would agree. I mean, realistically, uh, obviously we had the Unreal Engine change, and I'm pretty certain everything we've had, all the new features we've had, we could have had in TSW2 after the Unreal Engine change. I'm pretty certain. So I don't even know if, if, if we, 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 we should be in three right now, to be totally honest with you. We, we could still be on two. And I wonder how much more we, we would, how much more content we would have had if all the time dedicated to these new iterations of games and spending money on um, on, 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 a, on an orchestra and all of this, how much more content we could have seen instead? They are complaining about how the route is only a new train and extension. 
Um, yeah, but I mean, we've been hearing that since the very beginning. You know? Um, and I'm not surprised, but we'll see. I just hope that people will... Um, I hope that the route will be good enough that when, that when people get their hands on it, they see that, okay, actually, this was worth the money I paid for it. And I, like, yeah, I understand people's, people's frustrations, but it's up to Dovetail to quell that at the end of the day. Yapping level today is crazy. I don't think I'm yapping. I don't think I'm yapping. I'm talking about things that make sense. I need to friend someone else. And also, I'm dealing with this, whatever the hell this is, that my nose is doing to me today at the same time. And I haven't even had my energy drink yet. Also, I did notice that 170 on a siding. Um, which, yeah, if not for this timetable, you wouldn't really see anything of the sort. Because there would be no need to keep trains... Uh, on a siding. Imagine if dispatching was a feature on Train Sim World and um, you could do it on London, on London Commuter. Dispatching on London Commuter would be a vibe. Either that or you, or you end up losing your mind. I don't think it would be too bad though, because there's not really much, you wouldn't really be doing much like prioritizing and putting away in sidings. For the most part, you would just be rooting trains through, but it would be a lot of trains. That's the thing. Simrail tonight or, or, or Roblox? What are we thinking? I think I'm like, I'm 90% leaning towards uh, an evening stream today maybe i just won't <laughs> but let's say if i do an evening stream what would you like to see now and now i've opened my energy drink <laughs> hey i'm not opposed to fortnite I'm actually not opposed to Fortnite. I almost, um, I almost went when uh, went on for a session yesterday, but it was like almost 11 p.m. and uh, yeah, there just wouldn't have been much point. <laughs> no, <I'll>, right. <laughs> now Roblox makes sense though because we have the we have the British Rail update, isn't it? So we can do that, and then I was going to say tomorrow, but then tomorrow is Long Island Railroad. Um, hmm. Well, it would have to be Wednesday, realistically, you know. Or maybe if the if the stream finishes like at a decent time tonight, then oh yeah, also there's a boat now. Where is it? There you go. There's life on the seas. No, I don't know, bro. It's a, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. Miracles do exist, though. I'm going to go for now. All right, no, all right, Mr. No Name. Enjoy your game, man. Enjoy your game. Thank you for hanging around. It's like a two v ten debate in TSW Discord. I don't know why people. Oh, I didn't turn. I didn't turn. Um, dynamic weather off. I'm not about to sit here and wait for a uh, for a storm.
These rappers are moving in slow motion. It's not even wiping. That's interesting. There's a bug. And it just stays exactly where where it is when I turn it off like I'm um, like one of those old school cars. Me and some other guys telling people why Long Island Railroad 2 isn't free. Punk. I mean, mate, if, if it gives you life, go ahead, but <laughs> you might as well look at your nearest wall and talk to it and you, you and it would be and you'd be more effective. It would be more effective. A storm that will last 10 seconds. No, 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 no. It will transition to a full thunderstorm in 10 seconds and then, we'll, and then the, it would, the storm will just be there until the very end. It won't change again. Will you live stream Long Island Railroad V2 tomorrow? Yes. And what time would it stream be? Because I want to be there and see it myself. I don't want to pay another 30 quid as I did two weeks ago when I picked it up. Um, from 7 p.m. UK time. That is the time I'm going to aim for. Where, whether I'm going to be bang on or not, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to provisionally say 7 p.m. HST look, HST looks gorgeous, Buck, man. HST really looks great. I love it. It's gorgeous. The only TSW4 routes I don't have is the Merenkbahn and the American Freight routes and a handful of German routes like Bremen to Oldenburg. Any particular reason, Transport Legend, why I didn't pick up the Merenkbahn? I can definitely give you a couple, but I do want to hear your own, um, your own thoughts. I hope audio levels are okay. HST is loud as hell. I hope it's not draining me out too much. As a matter of fact, why should I even worry about that when I can literally just fix it? When I ain't got to worry about anything. Actually, you know what? Oh, we are going, aren't we? Jesus. I realise I need to be a bit quicker with like content when it releases. Because all the ideas I had that I wanted to do with Samaritan Garden, a lot of them wouldn't be fruitful now. Because it's a little bit late. So I think of Long Island Railroad. I'll probably spend most of Wednesday after the stream. Or maybe even on stream actually. On Tuesday we'll, we'll just look at it and maybe do a scenario. And then for the rest of the we will focus on doing scenarios and then whatever else we can do because I can't give like my thoughts on a product and not have tried it properly so got to give it an equal and fair chance I know Benila is also slow but Benila felt like a mountain railway I think so it's like a slow boring basic TSW route that could have had a lot more effort into it Sadly, looks rushed. Yep. Uh, I share those testaments, I think. Um, testaments? I share those. I share. What's the word? It sounds like testaments. But it's not testaments. I don't know why it's a testament. But anyway, I share your views. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I share your views. I've highlighted a lot of times the grass and the trees that remind me of a rosa line in the distance um but the route just gets a lot of praise <laughs> so you know maybe not everyone uh, everyone sees it that way but yeah this ain't the bible i'll bring my bible and i'll make i'll make a bible i'll turn this i'll turn this whole thing into a bible study i've been up since 11 p.m and i was nearly 10 a.m and i You've been up since 11 p.m. 
When did you sleep? To, to be up at 11 p.m. yesterday, what time did you sleep, Donk? I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Something feels super off. Oh, I don't know what it is. You've woken up at 11 p.m. It's now 11 a.m. Something feels super off. What could it be? <laughs> what could it possibly be? I have high hopes for the Just Trains uh, UK route and the Alan Thompson Simulator route. And I love Japan, so... Todami line, I think. Well, who is it that corrects me how to spell it? Uh, pronounce it, sorry. Uh, it's for me, and I'm a sucker for Scottish Trains, so I'll pick up 380 on day one. I mean, naturally, high hopes for the uh, Just Trains <laughs> route, right? Naturally. Uh, what are you hoping it would be, Transport Legend, personally? And I guess everyone else as well. We've just trained, obviously, you know, if you didn't know the studio that uh, released to us uh, Blackpool branches. What are you guys hoping to see um, from them? Another BR route, another old school route, maybe something a little more modern. I think for me, I'm happy with another BR blue route, you know. I'm not really an old school guy. I'm not really an old school guy, but with how well Blackpool branches was done, Obviously, it would be nice if we, if we can get something with as many liveries as the 142 had. But, um, yeah, I think as long as, it, as it's in that era, personally, I'm content. Look at that. We had a 380 go, a 385 go past. We had a 170 just there. We have another 170 here. A 170 in the sidings. Oh, my God, they've used to the sidings. Crazy. Who would have thought that was possible? This is a hell of a 170. All right, there's two of them. They're both in the wash. How easy was it, was it to do something like this? Look at this. Look at that. Look at all those trains. Look at all of these trains. How easy was it to do this? Look. Look. There's trains. Who thought it was possible? Who would... Look, there's even more. Who thought it was possible? Come on, man. And Alan Thompson Simulator, from the TS Classic content, I'm expecting good things as well from them, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm, look I'm looking forward to that as well. No idea what to think of the Japanese line. I've never played a Japanese route before. So I literally have like no expectations <laughs> other than it being a completely different and uh, new experience so i'm looking forward to it for that and i just hope that it, that it will be done to a good standard yeah i honestly don't mind waiting for quality uh transport legend they can take a sweet time as long as what they come out with will be even sweeter i have no complaints can we just let old school routes rest? I don't understand why people want so many backdated routes. I mean, why not? You know, I I personally, I'm not like someone who's, who's who makes noise for like old school routes. I don't have any reason to. I'm not like, I'm, I'm 27, you know. <laughs> I, I was born in like the modern era, more or less, in terms of trains, but... I don't know, maybe black, maybe just trains just did it so well that that's why i want to see more it could literally just be down to that but there are people who will just dog on modern content in the forums and fight to the death for old school content I'd love to see a 350. I'd love to see a 350. I'm hoping for Ayrshire Coastline. Ayrshire? How would I ever pronounce that? I sound, I sound American. Sorry, Pog. <laughs> Ayrshire, maybe. Ayrshire Coastline. As it would make better use of the 380. Or London Liverpool Street to Norwich, Ipswich and Standard Airport. Or the Chase Line. Yeah. There's so many... Um, so many opportunities, man. So many opportunities. You know, I, I, I got on to, so I, I get to see to see sometimes. And I, for the first time, got on their new trains. I'm not sure exactly what class it is, but it looks exactly the same almost as um, a, uh, a 710, which I'm thinking, could someone 
just utilize the new C to C stock. Use the seven ten that we have in game. Slap a you know a livery from livery from content uh, from creators club onto it, and give us some more services on um, on the suffragette line. Or Dove Talk could just bring us the C to C. That would be great. Yeah, five minutes early is kind of mad. <laughs> But I feel like with like HSC services, because you're only stopping every now and again, naturally they'd be at stations for like five minutes. So uh, yeah, sounds about right. Look at that beautiful livery, man. Look at that beautiful fella in there as well. Look at him. He knows we're talking about him, but he's shy. They want old school content just for them to complain. This post from 224 and from 975. I mean, hey, I'd, I'd be pissed if I saw a 1995 poster on a 2024 route. <laughs> but yeah, listen, nitpicking. Look. We're a bunch of nerds. Like, let's, be, let's keep it real. We're a bunch of nerds. We notice little things like this. We're not okay for the most part. With games like Need for Speed, car guys in general no need for speed sucks in terms of like realism and physics and all of that but who's gonna go and complain because they're just they don't care you know i feel like as, as us like being a train bunch it's a little different we just we care about the details you know it's the beauty of of of, of what we do i really think they should add a, a 7 30 to birmingham cross city of the cathcart circle 314 so 380 having separate timetable they should add like they should add 7 30 timetable like ccl well i mean if they ever change their stance on going back to older routes and upgrading the timetable, obviously, yes, we see it every now and then, but it's not a normal thing. So there is so much potential to bring new life into old routes. It's actually ridiculous, the potential. But uh, uh, pff, yeah, for whatever reason, that's not viable right now. Okay, this, surely this is the Midland Mainline HST. I'm not familiar with that horn. Huh? How have they managed to do the interior? What? Is this a completely new model? How have they managed to do the interior? It does sound weird, yes. I was being nice, I was being nice about it, but it does sound weird. Hold on a second. How have they done the interior? I can't even walk in. My head. I'm just a headless person walking around. Or oh, it's a floating head. Okay. I'm really confused. It's, so, I'm, so this has to be a completely new model then. I'm trying to look for like Scott Roll branding inside. Okay, no look. Is it? Is, is this? Okay, okay. It's, it's, it's GWR, but they've they've put the Scott Scott uh, Scott Railway um, on top of it. So it's a GWR um, HST. But I don't know how they've done the seats though and the carpet. I'm baffled. In a good way. I'm the only person that wondered what my character looks like when I'm flying in free camera, just a floating 85 looking man that doesn't have to customize my avatar and looks. I mean, when I'm flying around, I like to imagine that I'm literally just a head. <laughs> like, it'll be like this guy, like whoever your character is, but just a head fl flying about.
Right, next up, Edinburgh Waverley. And that will be one, uh, one route done. Headless head, right, right. <laughs> ah, happens. Just your average Saturday. Being a headless head. And someone said 801 next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, if you guys want to say anything specific, of course, let me know. Uh, we can do the 800. That's a shout. We've got a 20 uh, limit coming up. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a whole run. There's a whole run. It's a lot more than that. I'm pretty similar. I'm pretty sure it's uh, more or less the same route that we've just done. Um, but we do have to change over from electric um, run it running in electric mode to diesel mode. Which, as I said before, uh, I'm not sure if I remember how to do that. So I guess we'll find out. And let's remember to turn off dynamic weather as well. Yeah, I think it was about 230 something meg uh, megabytes update, Bonk. Yeah, all of that uh, auto updating stuff is, uh, sorry, manual updating stuff is so long, man. Normally I don't even turn in cab lights at night or when internal TSW, you just turn in the cab illumination. Yeah, I mean, when, when I play by myself, Transport Legend, that's sort of the way I do it. But on stream, it, it's a little tough watching nothing but gauges <laughs> and uh, we already know what the light is like for most of the trains and game as well so there's not much to see in front of you either but when i'm by myself and you know want to be a little cozy during a night drive then yeah for sure this guy's a wild uh oh it's his hat i thought it was his hair over on the platform we've got sainsbury's you've got sainsbury's we've got costa we've got a wh smith what else do we have? Let's have a little gander. Got Sainsbury's over here. Got a WH Smith. Got some uh, adverts. Costa. Got Starbucks over here. What else do we have around? Do you have anything upstairs? Not that I can see. A little 385. Tablets are way too flipping bright. Anyway, it's called a local 50. <laughs> I don't think I've seen them in the 150. 